Yes, it is Atari's Food Fight. This was a uh, sentimental favorite game. Uh, and had so many touches that I liked, including the humongous mouth that uh, Charlie Chuck gets when he eats the ice cream cone. Food Fight, or Why the Other Digital Nations Hate Us. Stay away from chefs. They don't know nutrition. And the infinite watermelon. I forgot there was friendly fire um, in this game, actually. And I, I don't remember the names of... I don't remember it going that fast. I don't remember the names of all the chefs. Um, I want to say one was Georges and another was Jacques. I don't know, I'm just going to call them, uh, um, I'm just going to call them Guy, Robert, uh, Bobby Flay, and, uh, uh, other. Oscar, was it Angelo or Angelo? Well, I suck. That food wasn't even there. Oh, come on. Char Charlie Chuck has a kind of a difficult hitbox to work out. You, you, you can never quite be sure exactly... There's Big Mouth. You can never quite be sure exactly what part of him counts as far as uh, dodging the food and dodging the chefs. Great throw there. Like the boomerang looking bananas. And if you're holding a food piece of food, it doesn't count for the points, but you do get to carry it to the next level, which is very handy. Because you normally don't start out with anything. Oh, and I'd like to point out the uh, top score is uh, Ja. So, uh, Ja be praised, I guess. Ow. As you can tell, I am very out of practice. Let's just go right to the level 5 with the... Uh, Watermelon. I would just camp out at the watermelon, you know, half the day and just constantly, uh, try not to do that. Actually, I would try to hit the chefs. That would be the ideal thing. Get out of my way. Let's see that on an instant replay! That instant replay was neat back in the day. And Aborigine chefs, nothing but boomerangs. I feel sorry for whoever set up the salad bar around here. God damn it! I swear, you just can't get away from the food network nowadays.
Oh, as long as we're on a related topic, uh, just for nothing, not for nothing, but uh, what's uh, everybody's favorite ice cream? I like, uh, I'm kind of simple, I like mint chocolate chip. Damn it. Chocolate chip cookie dough is good as well. Oops. Now, are you just a straight-up chocolate fan, or are you, like, into Rocky Road, or... Ah! Um, I'll tell you a type of uh, ice cream that I really like. Move a little further over. I guess it won't let me. Um, I'll tell you a type of ice cream that I uh, really like. Um, I don't know how prevalent they are around the... I look like April O'Neil now, great. Um, around the U.S. anymore, but uh, those who remember a restaurant called Friendly's, uh, they had all kinds of really interesting ice cream creations. One of the ones they had around summer was a thing called a watermelon roll. And it was watermelon flavored ice cream. It had uh, chocolate chips in it, like seeds. And uh, a rind that was um, lemon lime ice cream, or lemon lime sherbet. And um, they still sell it at uh, supermarkets. Uh, along with a lot of their other ice creams, and uh, it is really good. Like, I actually managed to pick one up when I was looking for other ice cream before we uh, all got the orders to, became sh to become shut-ins, like I wasn't already. And I managed to pick one of those up, and it's, it's lasted a goddamn long time. Yeah, chocolate chip seeds, exactly. Ah... We were in the bakery, apparently. And that was stupid. I'm gonna waste a lot of watermelon trying to do this. Oh, hell of it. Let's just see what we get. flavor I really liked. Now, don't judge me too badly, but one of my guilty pleasures used to be the Celebrity Apprentice before so much went to shit. And uh, there was an episode uh, that was All-Star Celebrity Apprentice. The finals were uh, Penn Jillette of uh, Penn and Teller fame versus Trace Adkins, country music uh, musician. And Something they had to do. God damn it. Uh, something they had to do was create an ice cream flavor for Walgreens and um, sell it. And basically, uh, whoever sold the most ice cream won the challenge. Um, now, um, Therese Atkins had... Um, one of the members on his team was Lil John, and they got along famously, actually. Um, ah, they actually uh, um, did a thing called an ice cream called a maple macadamia mashup, and Lil John had to explain to Trace Atkins what a mashup was, but he liked the idea. Um, Penn came up with a, uh, um, ice cream called a Magic Swirtle, which was, um, 
it was caramel, vanilla ice cream, sea salt, and um, pieces of uh, turtles, like chocolate turtles. And because we were, uh, my parents and I were both fans of the show, um, and my mom and I loved ice cream, um, we actually picked up one of each and decided what we thought. I thought the uh, Magic Swirtle was actually the better one, and I really wish I could get it now, because it, uh, it was pretty good flavor. And I wasn't just saying that because I'm a massive um, Penn and Teller fan. You know, Tra Trace's uh, one wasn't bad either, it's just... I, I'm not that much into maple in my ice cream in the first place. Um, and yeah, actually, um, from what they said of the results, if they are to be believed, um, Penn's ice cream outsold uh, Trace's by, I think, about three to one. It might have been two to one, but but at any rate, he outsold. Um, Trace ended up winning the whole thing, though, because he did better on some other challenges. <sighs> oh, I, it's a nicer, innocent day, you know, when... You know, we, you could admit to that. This episode's Ice Cream Headache has been made possible by Rick in Baltimore, D.I.O.D.E., the post-production work of Matthew Carr Anderson, and all of my super chill Lycanthro fans. Thank you for your continued support. Until we game again.